Welcome back to Introduction to Computer Science at SSFS. Over these next series of videos, we're going to take a look at Pygame, which is a series of modules written for Python that allow the user to create some pretty interesting two-dimensional games. We'll look at drawing, uh, adding images, sounds, animation, but we're going to start out pretty slowly, and in the next series of videos, we're going to look at how to create basic shapes and add them to the screen. And in this first video, we're going to talk about how to set up a basic Pygame window. And remember when we were looking at TK Enter, we created a pretty boring blank TK Enter window and then started to add some widgets. Well, we're going to do kind of the same thing with Pygame. And so to, to make a Pygame window, we have to import a few modules. The first one we have to import is Pygame, which makes sense. And we're also going to import a module called Sys. And what Sys is going to allow us to do is to kind of close our window gracefully. And the next thing we're going to do is something that is not always a good idea, but it's going to make our lives a little bit easier. So from pygame.locals, which is again one of the uh, pygame modules, we're going to import star. And what that means is import everything from the pygame locals module. And we'll talk about where that comes into play in a few minutes. So most of your pygame, your main pygame programs are going to have these import statements at the top. Okay, well let's go ahead and make a, a pretty plain window. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, in, remember in TK Enter we talked about the idea of frames and everything went into a, to a frame. In Pygame they use the idea of a surface, which is the same kind of thing. So we're going to create a surface. We'll call it main surface for right now. And it's going to be Pygame, because that's the module, dot display, which refers to our window and set mode. And this is the command that allows us to set up our, our basic Pygame window. And we're going to put a bunch of things in parentheses. The first thing that goes in the parentheses is actually another set of parentheses. And it's the window dimensions, width and height. I'm going to make this one 500 by 500. And notice that I did put it in parentheses. That's actually a special Python data type called a tuple. And remember, we looked at lists before. Lists use the square brackets. Well, tuples are pretty similar to lists, uh, but the difference is you can't change a tuple. Remember, we could, uh, by indexing, change the elements of a list. Tuples, you can't. And the result of that is they can actually work a little bit faster, and that's why Pygame uses them. You wouldn't want to change your screen size mid-game, uh, so we can put it in a tuple, and so it's not going to change, and it'll go a little bit faster. The next argument in the list, or the next parameter in the list, is going to be zero. It's always going to be zero. And what this is, is it's a space for a series of flags so that you can tell your window to be full screen or have scroll bars. Um, but we're not going to use those for this class, so we're always going to make that zero. And the final parameter is the color depth in bits. And we're always going to have 32-bit color depth. So you're of your three parameters, two of them are always going to be the same, the 0 and the 32. The 500 and 500 would always be your, your window size in width and height, and that can be whatever you need your window size to be. So that's the first piece. The second thing we're going to need to put in is a statement called pygame in it. And actually, we're going to put that above. So that should be your first statement. And pygame in it is short for initialize. So it initializes a lot of the Pygame methods that we're going to use uh, later on throughout our program. So that should be our first statement. The next one will be our display mode. And then we're going to give it a title, the whole window a title. So we're going to use Pygame dot, dis whoops, dot display dot set caption. And I'll call it uh, Pygame test window. That's really all I need. But remember that in, in TK Enter, we use something called the main loop. We have to do a similar thing in Pygame, but we actually have to make that main loop ourselves. So we're actually going to create a sorry while true. Boy, I can't spell. While true loop which is an infinite loop that we're going to have to break out of at some point. 
And what we're going to do in this loop is we're going to have Pygame constantly scan for events. So for event in Pygame dot event dot get. So what this loop does is the pygame.event.get gets a list of all the events that are happening, whether it's a mouse moving, uh, a key being pressed, something being clicked. When the method get is called, it gets all the events are, that are happening and puts them in the list. And then for event in that, kind of loops through each one of those in that list. So this is just getting us an event, a list of events, and then we're going through event by event. If that event type happens to be quit, then we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to quit Pygame, which means shut down all the Pygame operations that are going on. And then we're going to do sys.exit. And what that does, that actually closes the window. So let's go back to a couple of things first. Well, you see the sys.exit. That's why we need the sys module imported. And this quit is an event type, and that's actually in this Pygame locals module. If if I had just done import Pygame dot locals, I would have had to put Pygame dot locals dot quit. That gets to be kind of a pain. So in this one case, we actually take the shortcut of importing the star, which means I don't have to do pygame.locals in front of quit. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this, see what it looks like. We'll run my, and you can see my pygame window, and it comes up with a 500 by 500 window. It has my caption here, and it's pretty gray and boring. So in the next video, we're actually going to start to draw we're going to use a we're going to draw a logo. We're going to add some different shapes, add some colors, make it look look a little bit nicer. So until next time, thanks for watching.